Today I'm going to turn this IBC tote into a bait tank. Hey Brent with Southpaw. Uh, today I'm going to be turning this IBC tote right here into a bait tank. Um, they, they make great bait tanks um, because they, they hold a lot of water. So you could put a lot of fish in them. Um, they're, you can kind of change them out and make them however you want, cut them different ways. Uh, we actually we made an aquaponics system. Um, essentially what that is is a grow bed on top of a large portion of the tank. Uh, you can grow plants and keep your bait as well. So we got videos for that. I'll, I'll put that up, a, up in the corner on this one so you can take a look at that. But this one we're just going to turn into a regular bait tank. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut an area off the front here to access the fish and uh, in front where the drain is here. Um, we're going to need a, a ratchet with a hex bit to take off this bar right here on top. And then we've got a grinder with a cutting wheel. Um, we're going to use it to cut off a section of this metal uh, housing that the actual plastic tank is in. So um, you can find these tanks if you watch closely. If you watch closely on uh, Craigslist, uh, Facebook Marketplace, all those different areas, or even just you know in somebody's front yard, they're trying to get rid of them. Um, I think we got this tank for $25. They're really cheap. Um, you know, sometimes they're going to be a little bit more. The important part to know about these tanks is you need them to be food grade so that they're safe for the fish. A lot of them are uh, chemical, um, so they've had some hazardous materials in them, um, and, and you know it kind of gets into the pores of the plastic. You can probably try to clean it out, but you're going to run the risk of killing your fish. So the food grade are a little bit easier. You can usually clean those out. Whatever was in it wasn't toxic anyway. Um, this one is was food grade. I'm, I'm not exactly sure what it was that was in there, but um, it said non-toxic on it. So once I get it cut open, I'll clean it all out, and uh, and then I'll build a filter, and, and we'll have a tank. So hang with me here, and I'm going to go ahead and start tearing this thing down. Always be careful when you're running power tools like this. Wear some safety glasses. I don't have any on me, so I'm going to be really careful, but typically wear glasses. We have a front, we have an opening to our tank. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go around and uh, kind of file off the edges of where I cut there just so there's nothing sharp or pointy on it.
Okay, so we got that all mostly filed down and uh, smooth on the, the edges where I cut. So what I'm doing now is the bars, those brace support bars that were on top of the uh, tote, I'm taking them, kind of flipping them half around, and I'm gonna put them above this, uh, the, the uh, fill hole where I unscrewed the cap. Cap's right here. Um, don't need that, I'm, I'll set it aside, put it somewhere, store it. Um, and I'm putting those on top as a support. As I'm gonna put my bucket filter, I'm gonna have a five gallon bucket that's gonna be my filtration for this tank. And uh, that will sit on top because this is kind of flimsy now. So I'm gonna put those back on and we're gonna see how a bucket sits up there and see if that'll work. So this is the bucket that's gonna rest on top of that uh, support we just put and then hover just above that hole. Um, We've, I've done we've done other videos on uh, you know do-it-yourself bait tanks with the bucket filtration system. I'll put that up in the top corner of this right here. Um, this is going to be we're going to do something a little different for this one, just for the sake of trying something different. Um, the other one worked great, but uh, this one we're going to do a little slightly different. Um, but this is the bucket it's going to be. It's going to set this right up there like that. Your water is going to come in. Water is going to come in by way of this corrugated hose from this thousand gallon per hour pond pump and it's going to uh, filter out the water in there. I'm going to have the video on that bucket filter next week um, so stay tuned for that one. Really all we have left to do with this with this tank now is to clean it all up. It's uh, It's got that food grade um, liquid, whatever was in it, a little bit in the bottom of it. It appears to be kind of a syrupy, oily stuff. So uh, we're gonna we're gonna clean that all out and uh, get the bait tank ready for where it's gonna sit. So that's it for the first part of this bait tank build. Um, please stay tuned for next week. We'll have the the filter we're gonna make, and uh, we'll put it on. We'll have the the bait tank in its position, and we'll hopefully get a shot of it maybe running. Um, but we'll do the we'll do the filter next week, and uh, we'll finish this all up. So, if you enjoyed this, please like the video. Um, also, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe if you kind of like what we've got going on as far as projects and uh, fishing. Um, we're getting close to our heat of our season. We're big into the bank poles, catching you know giant flatheads. So that's just around the corner. That's why we're getting these built and knocked out because we're going to have them full of bait because we're going to be hitting the river hard just as soon as we can. We're about a month away. Um, so like I said, please subscribe. I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.